I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys so much for being here. Bye. All right. So what do I play now? Did I raid? Did the raid Slash happen? raid. Did it raid? I think I did. Yep, you, you did. Yay. I'm going to get some food water. Okay. I'm going to ineffectually... <sighs> I'll be back in a little bit. I just need some food. We all need some food. Oh, man. I don't... All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get some food, and then I will uh, join you in a little okay. bit. Okay. I'm going to... I'll, I'll be back. I'll stay here. Okay. Did Gino delete the, the big host room that allows more than two people? No, this. No, this... that's game night. Do you want to go into game night just in case other people want to join? Yeah. I think it's only gonna be M. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna join the game night or All the right. game night room. Yeah. There All we right. go. Well, I'm gonna get food. Okay. Uh yeah, the PS3 is not burst into flames yet, despite the presence of Siren Blood Curse. But we're not going to play Siren Blood Curse. <laughs> Instead, friends, we're we're gonna we're gonna actually no. I have a I have an idea. What what better game to play during the big game than um. What if I picked up my Chains of Olympus save from last year? Because I played like half this game. And then uh, maybe... Maybe maybe we switch somewhere else after that. Maybe we could play some Front Mission 3. I don't know. From the makers of... I'm gonna... I'm gonna move my microphone. And give myself a little bit of distance so that... I don't have to worry about mic bleed. I mean, I should probably... Alright, so apparently the last time I played this game was August 31st. This is... Uh, this Yes, this is the PSP one. So... It's me. Anger man. You know. I'm all like... Ugh. Athena, I am angry! I must square, square, triangle my enemies! Uh. Now, I figured this would be a good follow up to uh, Don Day's Inferno. Because I think even the worst PSP God of War games are still better than Dante's Inferno. Remember how to play this game. Yeah. I think I'm playing on hard as well. So, you know. All right. Let's see. Got my shield. I'm going to go. All right. Got my dodge roll. Got my... That's right. You gotta press R1 and then
Because originally I was going to stream Eternal Sonata. You're hearing some snap crackly pop? Okay, let me... It might be the Elgato being fun. Being funky. Listen to my own stream. Let's see if I can hear it. Now yeah, you've ruined me. last save stuff. No. Remembering, remembering how to play this video game. Maybe why I stopped playing. Uh, all right, let me just turn down the game a little bit, a little bit.
I remember why I stopped playing this. How is audio now? Is there still like a crackling? Because otherwise it's going to bug me forever. crispy now you're making me look at these cables to make sure that they're in properly Mainly with that fire attack. <sighs> there are like eight different points of failure here that could be the cause. Oh. Yes, yes, they're making a dramatic, they're multiple Tiger King projects in the works because Tiger King was a mistake. Here, where the soul I mean, Mike, if you want to get into voice chat, you can. You are on the Deep Listen server. And the agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Uh, the superior plate, yes.
I think these games are impressive just in terms of they got this to run on a PSP with its, what, 166 megahertz processor or something? Like, the PSP was not a powerful system. think is going to win the big game trademark perhaps the uh yeah sure could play psx games though exactly i could be playing psx games i thought about playing vagrant story because <laughs> i think it would be funny to play vagrant story on stream and be like oh this game's easy wow what a what an easy baby final boss this game has. I beat it in two seconds. But then I'd have to play the entirety of Vagrant Story to get there. And you know. I I already got enough on my plate. Before needing to half heartedly commit to Fun stuff when, when you're just juggling a guy for eight billion hits. That this to me is is, is peak God of War when you just hit someone in the air for eight thousand hits, even though you could just grab him and he would die instantly. We don't have to play this for super long. This is this is gonna be a variety stream, I think. Because you made the mistake of picking PS3. Nonsense. Oh, I see. It wouldn't be a video game released between the years 2005 to. present without dumb climbing. When I think about video game mechanics that I love, I think about climbing. Poseidon, god of the sea. Poseidon, god of the sea. Hades, lord of the dead. And Zeus, the king of the gods.
what's over here? Is there anything over here? Yeah. Red orbs. Orb. Rube orb. I think the biggest problem with God of War as a franchise, you know, at least pre-reboot, is that they very much did not know what to do in any way to move the series in any direction. Hi, I'm playing. I, I, I'm doing a load my last save thing with the God of War, the PlayStation Portable that was then ported to the PlayStation 3. This game, like, it's one of those things. I know people like um, the second one. Like, people people claim that Ghost of Sparta is better than God of War 3. This is like a prequel. Well, yeah, this was ready at dawn, so this was uh, not even not even Sona Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm playing on hard. Apparently, I, I'm pretty sure I picked hard. As, as I said, I was ready for hard mode when I picked this up right after finishing 2. Because that that's the context of me picking hard mode in a God of War game. Was playing 2 and being like, I can do hard on the PSP game. It's like a baby's toy. And then I messed up the QTE. Trying, trying. X. Yeah, it's almost like this was a PSP game that was upscaled to 720p. Like, you can tell just in terms of how complex these environments are. Like, I think Kratos... Like, you can tell that 
Kratos' model is definitely, like, downgraded a little bit. But as far as, like, hey... I don't have to get a PSP. I don't have to get a PSP. Oh, dear. I gotta, I gotta turn you up. Oh, fuck. That, I forgot. I turned off desktop audio. There we go. Sorry. I had forgotten because I was listening to my own stream to hear audio crackles. Snap, crackle, and pop. Can you hear me now, bitch? There we go. Got a boy. This, this game is way too decent for your brand. Show me haze. <sighs> Please, no. Please don't make me, me play. Okay. Yeah. Please, please don't make me play more bad early HD console shooters. I already played Perfect Dark Zero. What more do you monsters want? I remember not hating that game at the time, but your stream made me realize that, you know, 2005 I was, was just a long hungry time ago. For, a, for an Xbox 360 shooter game. Because there was no Call of Duty other than Call of Duty 2. Yeah, Call of Duty 2 is death. a better game than Perfect Dark Zero. One might argue that game is shockingly good. One might say it's one of the most important games. Other than Modern Warfare. Yeah. Yeah, I finished the Wheel of Dubious FPSs. I don't have to do that anymore. You're right. I'm free. Yeah, but, you know, it's like... It's like the a wise man once said, some people, some authors use uh, subtext and they're cowards. Some people would move on from the Wheel of Dubious RPGs, but they are cowards. You're not a coward. I mean, I could do the Wheel of Cool RPG. The wheel, the oh, wheel fuck of cool that. Indie Nobody wants RPGs. good games. If, if there's something I have learned when I uh, write about games that are good, people don't want to hear you talk about things that you like want to see he, people want to read you complaining about shit or overreacting to something that doesn't warrant or deserve an overreaction oh my goodness what? this video game ah. to this day the best thing that i the most widely commented and my two most popular blogs were me i i stand by these blogs though that there's something to them, but it's, it's very telling that my loving tributes to Chrono Cross did, like, half what these two did. It was me talking about how there will never be an ending to a Persona game, like Persona 3. Yep. And the other blog was, yo, Star Ocean, these Star Ocean games should stop fucking around and they should continue the plot of 3. Popular things that I wrote last year. What do they do? They're, they are basically me complaining about shit that really doesn't necessarily need to be complained about. And I, I, I can't fight it. Right up there. You know what? I'll, I'll look that up for you. How do you uh, want me to judge this? I'm going to judge this comments. by comments. Okay. I, I, think, I think engagement. Engagement. I demand engagement from my viewers. Because if you are engaged, you feel invested. I'm not the person to say that to. Like, yes, you're right. Like, Persona 3 is a bad playing experience, but... I mean, Relkin's okay. problem with Persona 3 is the dating sim stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, So the Clive Barker write-up has 12 comments. That's right. Oh god, Jesus. Why did you put so much time and effort in your GOTY block? Holy shit, dude. I it's a sickness. You put in way too much effort on these GOTY blocks. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, it's a like I cannot I am apparently incapable of writing less than two paragraphs about something. And it's uh. bad. Yeah, yeah, that. Yep. Yep.
sure did write that much about uh, Killzone and Strife and then got nothing out of it. Yeah. That's a great feeling. That's a great feeling, isn't it? It's like, yeah. I so mean, much time. Well, I, it, I feel like that's what I, I've already prepared myself. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to publish a blog about um, Atlantis, put a lot of fucking time, yeah. production values into this thing. I wish that we had a save blog or schedule blog feature. Yeah. Where I could just hit publish and then, like, schedule it to publish, like, the day after. Seems like you topped out at 12 so far, but I'm... Yeah, 12, 4, that one blog. Clive Barker's Undying and, um... One of your GOTYs. The, the old game. Oh, no, wait. Suikoden. Suikoden got 16. Tales of Zestiria and Suikoden 4 got 16. So that's the new standard. Oh, nope. Alpha Protocol. Yeah. Okay, that checks out. Yeah, Alpha Protocol was the most biggest, successful most popular, write up most of last year. thing that you wrote last year. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Alpha Protocol. <sighs> And surprisingly, uh, getting input from a staff member helped you out in that regard. Yeah, no. Uh... I saw Jeff comment on one of Big Socrates. It's like, I was actually thinking about playing Inversion. Thanks for warning me not to play Inversion. It's like, holy shit. Congratulations, because you got a staff member that's not Rory to comment on something. That you yep. Did. Like, I, I reached out to him. It's like, congratulations. Like, you did it. I forget who it was. I think it was um, something Symphony I wrote a blog about. Uh, what was her name? She was like one of the Pixel Printy bloggers. Pixel Printy, right? She used to be Symphony. Um, yeah. Wrote a blog about Catherine and like Jeff writing. Yes, you're right about this and this. I, I guess I didn't talk about how yes, one of the characters is totally grand. Yeah. Like playing that game kind of sucks. Talk, yeah, talk, talk about... But also, talk about a game that whose themes about romance and gender fluidity have not aged at all. Uh, at what, all. what are you, are you saying that perhaps Atlas has a noted, track record about noted LGBT track record LGBT? of, LGBT? of LGBT? Uh, screwing up queer characters? Yeah. Yeah, you, who would have guessed it that, like, Persona 2 is the one game that Atlas kind of, sort of, did okay Got the picking a gay character? Are you gonna, are you gonna put uh, Infinity Stones in that gauntlet? I like a good punch weapon in a character action game. Like... In Devil May Cry, Dante always has a punch weapon. Yeah. I forget. Good. Was it last year that you played Devil May Cry 2? Yes. Last year for the Community Endurance Run, I played Devil May Cry 2 because we reached my goal. Did you finish that? I did. I finished the entire thing on screen. Both characters. I'm going to allow that. I'm going to allow that. Later Creation got auto modded for saying it. Like a good fisting. Surprise that term is... Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. One might have... Well, not in certain parts of our podcast network. Well, listen. This is... I'm just saying. <clears throat> Apparently hoity-toity. To cheek. Only high class jokes. Modding someone for making a fisting joke uh, overzealous, or is it just a job that God intended? Like the filter I TV. put is, I think I put like a, the medium filter on. 
So I can see why it might. Like I said, no this race seems slurs. Like something... This team seems like something that should be in the filter of medium. Yeah. Uh, yes. This, put that this, out there. Yes, I absolutely flag my streams as this ain't for children. <laughs> Because I, I say the F word sometimes. I say the F. Uh, you eat no. on stream and I'm gonna cuss. Like, you can't change me. I ain't changing uh, Here's anymore. the thing I would absolutely stop cussing on stream if I was hurting money from this. Right, but we aren't, so. Wow. But I'm not. Change so. for anybody. It's not like my mom's ever gonna watch this. Also, yeah. here's here's the thing. Last week, when I was at my parents' house, uh -huh. I heard my mom say the word motherfucker. You? Well, you don't need to tell me how I can't judge you because yeah. my mom has literally said the F word on stream before. Yeah, no, but here's the thing. It's one of those things where it's like five years ago, the idea of hearing my dear mother Say, say that word. I mean, my mom said that, said a lot of mean things. I got in trouble for saying school. damn once when I was a child. Yeah, me too. I said god damn it when playing Smash against my my sister, and I got grounded for an entire weekend. Chill out. <laughs> the get older. Yeah, and you know, I... I was amazed that, you know, I'm glad to know that uh, Giant Bomb does not attract the anti-vax crowd. So people are like, no, your mom was right when she said fuck anti-vaxxers. I hope they get Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, at this point, it's probably worth mentioning that, like, not, not to get into this, because... You know, it's not worth it. It's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. But it's probably worth remembering that at this point, it's it's just like one sixth of the population who adamantly refuses, right? And but then another I, I, sixth who claim they are on the fence. Because they're a bunch of fucking. I, I, I'm more or less talking yeah. about like the swearing thing, which yeah. is like. <laughs> The standards for what you're allowed and not allowed to say in also, society yes. just feels like gatekeeping bullshit. Yeah. I bet you these are the same people who are going to say that you can't, you shouldn't teach ebonics in public education because it teaches them how to speak wrong. Yeah. I mean, you know, growing up, I was very much taught, like, you know, swearing. It's a lazy way of speaking. Yeah. Yeah, there there are a couple stages in adult life. Yeah, the swearing came after the drinking. I, you know... There was, a, at one point, um... Yeah, the, it... It's weird. It's it's real weird being an adult sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna uh, did, did I mention? I, I think I said this on one of the things that called classic, but it's like I saw a review on Giant Bomb where it says 25th anniversary Metal Gear Solid 4 review. And it's like, oh Jesus fuck! Please tell me that Metal Gear Solid 4 is not 25 years no, old. Jesus it's, mother it's fuck! It's 13. God. I have bad it's news. It's just it, the, the Metal Gear Solid. Well, I was happy when I found out it was just 13. But it was like, oh, God. And then it's like, oh, they just called it Metal Gear Solid 25th. Because the, the first one is 25. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Metal Metal Gear Solid is, is uh... yeah, I guess it is 25 years old. Almost. Let's see. Metal Gear Solid 98. So yeah, it would be, it is almost 25.
don't yeah don't think about how mass effect is over 10 years old 15 years old almost God. yeah technically medical solid 4 and mass effect 1 are classic games yeah they're retro according to the retro not standard they hate it Jeremy i don't Parrish. like it i don't like up. it i don't like it they did an episode on skyrim on retro knots Thanks. Yeah, it, it's like way to creation saying. Thanks. I hate it. Thanks. I'm old now. I know I'm old. Uh, fucking, what's her name? Uh, Renata, who just joined Waypoint. She's 22. I, I, I want you to. Wait, can we just play Comcessor Todd? I know that I am old. No, because no, because then if we start talking about old, then it's like, oh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I'm turning 30 this year. I don't know, but it was like round number. Somehow that feels significant. I think Jan is younger. I think it's been established Jan is younger than us. Uh, yeah, Jan is a year older. Where, where did Gino, out of curiosity, where did Gino post? Um, Times for the podcast. Uh, in the host zone. Oh, the host zone. Yeah, we're doing it tomorrow. I know, I, I'm just, I forgot to ask him if he Seven. still wants to stream. Oh, uh, yeah. I think he said he wanted to stream at like five? I, I just need to, I forget it, but I, I was confused because originally he wanted to stream the podcast. <laughs> Podcast to tomorrow. Oh wow! They, they put me back. Man. They they put me back a decent amount. I should have played Indiana Jones for three hours. I don't want to play them all. So. Well, yeah, I guess it makes sense that that game's about eight to nine hours long because that's three hours for Act three, three four hours for Act two. Two hours for the entrance, and then but maybe yes. two, Jan three hours. turned for, yeah, 30 yeah. last year, I believe. Yeah, that's nine hours for a single playthrough if you didn't take the time to do rankings. <sighs> oh, it, do you love those for deep listen? I'm sure look good. Yeah. People will have to see those once they're finalized. There's something nice and mindless about God of War Deep It's just, I am an angry man. Well, I mean, I think that this franchise definitely decided to take this storytelling characterization much more seriously with this, that uh, soft yeah. reboot game. Yeah. It's not even a reboot game. It's just, you know, a continuation of the modern games. They, they, they just made God of War like the other Sony first party games now. But, you know, I actually like God of War 2018. I think there are parts of that game that aren't great. I think the camera's too closed in. And I think the combat starts falling apart when you get to the post-game stuff. But, you know. It's like the only one of their big, dumb prestige games that I've actually enjoyed. I, I know you've repeatedly said that you think that Horizon is boring. So I think Horizon I is that fine. In. I seem to recall the word boring exiting your mouth whenever I said that Horizon is a good game. 
I, I, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna throw you okay. under the bus. Here's the bus. You're under the bus. Okay. Here's the bus. I'm driving the bus, running you over, running that, running Horizon over. It, that it's it's a totally fine open world game. That whose most interesting aspects are audio logs. Like the most interesting oh, part of Horizon are no, the audio it's logs. The, it's like the it's like the pseudo Shadow of the Colossus. Here's this giant mech monster that I need to like puzzle. Eh, I didn't find that stuff very hard. Like I was expecting Monster Hunter, and it's like no, just hit it. You gotta blow off its armor with the explosion. Oh, Later Creations is gonna back me up. The story is actually good. I'm criticizing that audio logs bad, but they're really good audio logs, and the plot twist is kind of incredible. Uh, I mean, it's very YA. It's very like the setup of that world is very YA because you've got a bunch of very distinct cultures. You've got a very clear backstory. Uh. Robot dinosaurs, fuck Ted. Yeah, Fairlight, I, I, I'm, I'm with Blade. I thought that the final reveal as to like, there's this mystery of how these monsters took over. It's because Ted it's actually, is a piece of shit. It reads like classic science fiction. Exactly, it reads like classic science I, fiction. But here's the thing: all of that is audio logs. All that is backstory. Like the part where you are interacting with all these tribals. How else are they gonna do it when there's it's a low tech world? Like. You want like cutscenes and flashbacks and like. No, I, I'm saying that. Hey, I applaud them for that, but I'm saying the parts of that game that are the other parts of that game are less good. Because do you, do you, I do not remember any of the characters in that game who are not Aloy and Lance Reddick. And it's just like, Fine. it's just her going, yeah, cool. And everyone's else like, oh, the dark wizard animals. And she's like, yeah, they're dark. Yeah, sure. Anyway, I've got, uh, I've got this magic thing. Um, I'm gonna go eat, defeat the dark demons. And then it's like, they're not demons. They are robots. And you're like, wow. It's fine, but just like any at this point, any video game where you have to clear out a bandit camp is going to lose my interest. It's like, oh, you can hide in the bushes and stealth kill people and lure them over, or you can just go loud and kill them all because it doesn't matter. And also, yeah, this just gets back to the conversation we had about My Breath of the Wild is a great game, but it might be Breath of the Wild has influenced people who have not understood why Breath of the Wild is important. Yes, it's an argument to be made that in the last 20 to 30 years, it's either Breath of the Wild or Modern Warfare are like the most consequential games ever made. And maybe Minecraft, right? I, it's still I, modern. That conversation warfare. is so broad. Modern warfare, I would still argue, is like the most consequential. Oh yeah, Call of Duty 4 is one of the most important games of the previous, of the not even past decade, of the 2000s. Like maybe even overall, um, just because of how. Like this move towards multiplayer and online. It's Call of Duty. It was, it was it was modern warfare. Like that was the game Call, that I mean, broke yeah, the Call of Duty game. is responsible for the modern suite of online multiplayer options and the death of server browsers. Yeah. Ah, I remember when they announced for Modern Warfare 2 that they would have their own servers. Yep, and people. Lost their shit. And then remember how, oddly enough, like Minecraft's like, oh yeah, having your own servers, it's not that hard. And also it creates a massive multi million 
person in the community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you, this is to an audience of in Asian markets, you're gonna, you're gonna laugh at you and go back to their yeah. online games with 40 million players. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, like, yeah. I, dude, I, I am not, I am aware that mobile games, right? Yeah. Yeah, Candy Crush. Not even that. It's uh, Crossfire. Crossfire. No, it's like. Crossfire X is terrible. Didn't they, is that the one that rebranded to Free Fire? I don't know. No, Crossfire, Crossfire just came out. Crossfire X, rather. That that was their big push for the Western market. They had the Remedy, made the single player for that game. Ram angrily. Yeah, it's living game. in a world the where now the most profitable video games ever made are Grand Theft Auto 5 because Grand Theft Auto Online and Minecraft. Penance. They're the and most profitable the video games ever well made. Yep. That these Grand Theft Auto 5 is... The I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're ever going to get a Grand Theft Auto game the way that you and I remember what the words Grand Theft Auto meant. I mean, here's the secret, is that I don't like any Grand Theft Auto game. That's fine, I understand, yeah. and I respect where you're coming from, but like... Oh no, I understand why those games are important. numbered Grand Theft Auto game, one, the figureheads that made the Grand Theft Auto franchise what it was are gone, and yep. they're never coming back. And then also, B, they made so much money on Grand Theft Auto online that that now will likely be the direction we go. Like these big sweeping, yep. yet problematic, admittedly yes, problematic stories. Like I don't know when we're ever gonna get that again. I, I, but yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about like the death of video games, like Puzzle and Dragons definitely needs to be in that conversation. But also you got I mean, ho. remember when everyone was like, single-player games are dead. And then everyone tried to make a game as a service and realized, oh, wait, only so many of these can sustain at the same time. Ragnarok Online. Again, Fake Grand Order. Why won't you let me pick Fake Grand Order? We need to play it for historical. Osaka, but and they're I still like making Fate Fruit Zero. Ninja games. Is that still a thing? Are they still making Fruit Ninja games? They probably must, right? sure. But I feel like we we've reached the point where the narrative of oh, oh casual video games are ruined. I have ruined the industry forever. We're all everything's going to be on phones. I feel like that that has been proven decidedly untrue. So, like, you know, I, I think if anything, I, I think the industry is in a pretty good place as far as, like, people having their niches to fill. Sure. Because as, as an RPG stick, though, Sure is better now than it has been since since the 90s. When I was in the 90s, I was playing like, something. Thank you, Kang. 
Alright, I'm gonna stop playing this in the next one. This is fun. This is not nearly as... Also, I think I... But I think I am near the end of the game. Because I, I have apparently found all the Gorgon's eyes. So, I have... I have a full health bar. Oh, you're, you're playing the you're playing the PS3. Yeah. yeah. Playing a three game that you didn't finish all the way. Then. Bad Why don't you finish the fight? Finish Siren Blood Curse. That'll happen. Let's let's just say that will probably happen in October. Because I don't want to put more of that game right now. That game is fascinating. I'll say that much. Like you cannot you cannot accuse Siren Blood Curse of not going against the trends of the time. They said we're gonna have Siren Siren is one of those franchises that People on the internet are like, they should bring this back. It's like, no, they shouldn't. Uh, Gino says he'll be joining us shortly. All right. Like of all the of all the Japan Studios games, I don't know if Siren is the one I go to bat for. tell you, the parry window in this game, very generous. Next game, Hazer Lair. Listen, if someone wants to buy me a copy of either of those, I would consider it. Although, I feel like the problem with Lair is just it's bad fucking, uh, Rogue Squadron. I feel like that's the thing I, I know about Lair is it's just bad Rogue Squadron with six-axis controls. And then they patched in regular controls. delve into a garbage dump. Um. <sighs> also, to spare you the clickety-clack, uh, I swapped out my keyboard for a low-profile office keyboard that uh, is uh, much quieter. Here, It's okay to have a clickety-clack. It's I, I love this keyboard. It's just it's so sensitive. You can kind of tell when I'm typing. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's... It's not a thonker, right? Yeah. Yeah, no... Anyone this is a who, nice sound, right? Anyone who uses Cherry MX Blue is a is a criminal. The typist purists say that's the only rage. Yeah, because those people remember typewriters. And the yeah. typing enthusiasts that I know are very young. I. Okay, then they're hipsters. Okay, that maybe. Okay, how about we stop playing God of War? Yeah, how about you play Siren the Blood Curse? Oh, you know what's a good game from this era that I think you should consider streaming if you continue to have um, PS3? Not Pain, but when I think of like those P the PS3 weird like micro puzzle games, I think of Trash Panic. Mm-hmm. Remember Trash Panic? No. Trash Panic, I think, got, had a giant bomb review, if I recall correctly. When the site did, we must review everything all the time. 
nonstop. No, it didn't get a. Did it get it a quick a look? Quick look. Yes, it did. Um, oh, it's a Jeff and Ryan quick look. God, I love those. Uh, yeah. So I've, uh, I've got some bullshit I could play here. I got some PS PS One games. I got some. So some... do you think this is the year that all this shit goes get set on fire, and then you have to uh, buy buy the... even more stuff? Oh yeah, they already got it's either that or it. what some people seem to be guessing, which is Sony's going to do like a Game Pass alternative, and all these games are going to be there. Listen, if they do full backwards compat on the, if, if I can play my PS3, is games, it backwards compatibility if you have to pay a monthly fee? No. Um. Hmm. Yeah, when are we going to play Two Human? These are questions that I, I ask myself all Two the time. Two Human is on the wheel of Dubious RPG Season Three. I will say that much. Because I like fun. Um, uh, speaking of fun, oh, I'm sorry you got an ad for Matt Damon's crypto bullshit. I do think it's very funny that like Hollywood actors who are known for being like pretty vocal environmentalists well i mean i know you always say that you don't want to get political but have you been following rei rei like the, rei the like outdoors uh company like the the, the sales okay. yes what uh, basically what? you know th you know the whole point of rei is that they care a lot about you know the environment yes very socially conscious like you can buy stocks in them and then like they're a cooperative yeah that turns out that they're trying to engage in union busting in their new york branch they're like we provide for our customers and our employees we don't need a union uh-huh recently published a po podcast it's like we just want to tell you that this part of new york this used to be algonquin territory so all of these people trying to organize this union they're on Conquered land. Uh huh. From the Native Americans. Okay, so because because you okay. There's a lot. There's a lot going on with that. But yeah, no, it turns out like at the end of the day, people just care about money. Yeah, yeah. JRPG opening cutscene and discussion of union busting. Yeah. But no, the Blade Three is right. REI is one of those companies. Prides itself on saying we don't make our workers work on Black Friday. We give them a day off. Turns out, fuck unions. We provide for our employees. We don't want to have to pay dollar twenty-five more every year to our, you know, yeah. workers. So I think that this uh, leads to uh, get back to the video game. Sorry for everything. Every single time I'm on, it, uh, on your stream, I feel like I'm a net direct detriment to you. Oh, no, no. So, Hideo Baba. Yeah. Um, basically, I mean, Namco Bandai in that 360 post PS2 era. So, after Tales of Destiny. Let's see, what was the last PS2 one? It was. The last PS2 one was Tales of Destiny. Abyss. On, no, mmm. No, was Abyss after? Abyss was 05. So, yeah, like, the, the Tales of franchise was dealing with some shit because there was uh, Tales of Abyss, which was an interesting... It's the red-headed stepchild because it's turn-based, right? No, no, no. Tales of Legendia <laughs> is the one no. that is not made by Wolf Team and... Yes. Um, but, you know, I mean, Tales from Abyss even, like, was not... Anyway, super well received in like these places. but anyways um so tales from abyss comes out and then also dawn of the new world comes out yeah and even with like tales of innocence a remake yeah the tales of franchise leading into the start of the ps3 xbox 360 era was in a legendia was way. 04 i believe 03 or 04 franchise was 
kind of in a confused state. It's like, how do we continue to, how does the limb system remain relevant? How does yeah. our preference for cell shaded graphics remain relevant? What shall we do? And so Hideo Baba, who yes, was the production supervisor for Don. That's what pointing out. Basically like, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna manage the brand. We're gonna put everything into Tales of Vesperia. And also, we're gonna take fucking Microsoft's money. Yep. Yeah. Take no. Microsoft's Vesperia money. is the last Tales game that had a budget before Arise. And then they're like, okay, so let's take Microsoft's money and like make this an Xbox 360 exclusive for like a year. Actually, more like it was two years. And. It was really this kind of like, ah, oh, it's a heralding of a new era. They found a way to modernize the limb system, have a real emphasis on that action role-playing, real-time combat with all of the, you know, classic experience point systems, the epic storytelling. Vesperia was a big deal, right? Yeah, no, it, it was... I feel like Vesperia is the one that people point to when they talk about, like... At, Soft rebooted the franchise back to relevance. Or, you know, it was the, the most recent relevant one after Symphonia, partially because it is had... exactly what I was going to say, which is, what are the two games that brought people into this franchise in the first place? Some people are going to tell you it's Fantasia. Those people are old and you don't make the right time to with them. Fantasia didn't come out in the U.S. Is, until the PSP is, remake. It is it's Vesperia and Symphonia. Those are the two games that got people to fall in love with this game's, like, this franchise, the series' emphasis on on anime storytelling. But, and like, also an, the an ensemble system. cast and very an much, like, cast. everyone starts out as kind of an anime stereotype, but over time, you're like, oh, they have more to them than just being a sassy anime woman. Sure. But then, like, the problem with Hideo Baba is kind of, as I said, during Gina's stream, which was this franchise had a problem. It wasn't fully prepared to, like, do a similar, like, go broke or go home, like, effort. So basically they used the Vesperia engine and, like, the assets of Vesperia way longer than they should. Now, uh, the good thing is is that they kept making games that were not objectively bad. They were just rote and repetitious. They, so yeah, they, they used that Exilia tech. That, that Exilia tech for what was, so was Exilia, Exilia 2, and Zesteria. And but Berseria. All used the same engine. Berseria. But just think about this. So in that 360 to PS3 span, which is about seven years, they made one, two, three, four, five main stay, like numbered, like main entry Tales of Games. So that's Vesperia. Yep. That is Graces. Zillia. Yeah, Graces was Zillia for two. the Graces was for the Wii originally. Zillia and then Zillia two. And Zesteria. Zesteria. So that is five main line so Tales of games. Now? They also made Hearts. I think two PSP games. They made so Hearts of Versus R. and then they made Radiant Hearts, Mythology. which was a DS game. Uh -oh, and Zesteria. then they made the DS game. Yeah. And then they also Why made Eternal Sonata. And the consequence of all of that you is that while Hideo Baba mad. provided like and and you know, uh Okay, yeah, this is Namco Bandai. Yes. Um, but yeah, so why Baba like provides this workmanlike effort, like this stability to the franchise? He basically ran the franchise to the ground. Where it's like, ah, cool, yeah, I now I know exactly, I know exactly what I'm signing up for. And there was, it was like, and I can't believe I'm gonna say something that's essentially agreeing with Gino. It was almost like that Dragon Quest sense of, um, I know exactly what I'm uh, signing up for when I yeah. buy this game, but with me. way it's less ambition and yeah. production values than a Dragon you Quest game. They they knew where to put the money. 
And it was in the it was like, in the combat ten minute worth of anime cutscenes. And it was, I mean, yeah, they got fucking Ufotable to start doing the cutscenes after a certain point. And guess what? Ufotable so, make they make the the pretty anime. And so with Demon Slayer. Tales of Zestaria, that was the last Hideo Baba produced Here, Tales of on. game. And you can kind of tell with Bessaria and then eventually Arise how him leaving <sighs> Namco like was a blessing in disguise. Like, while, yes, he deserves a lot of credit for making it a mainstay hit, like a, a JRPG franchise that has mainstay, like, cachet. Like he was Why also running the franchise there? into the fucking Go ground. Were... Yeah, no, it, it oh, was like... Right. There's a reason why they took hey, their then. time with so Arise. And also Berseria. Berseria was an 18-month turnaround from Zestiria. E e even then, like, you could tell that, that the, it was very know, clearly communicated. Like, this is the last time here. we're going to use this engine, but we're going to do something do that we that? haven't done before, both, like, from a storytelling perspective, and we're also going to, like... Make some reforms. I like the liberation limbs. Mm -hmm. You, you like having uh, each me. face button be a different art? Yes, so I do. I do. Likes? Like Velvet's mm -hmm. break soul triggers. Yeah. Arm, and, and you and can just like keep skill. doing them over and over and it over again. Something about that that feels very similar mm -hmm. to like the limit break system in 8. Oh, yeah, no, oh, like, I'm Velvet fine. is very fun. I think, uh, huh? Aizen is also pretty good. Um, really, the only character who isn't any fun to play me? in Berseria is Lafayette. Because he's the healer. For that. Yeah, Just yeah I mean, he's the healer. Surprise, surprise, the healer's the least fun better. character. But anyways, as I was saying, like, Something I feel like, like also, yeah. I, I wish that they would make... I wish that, well, in hindsight, that kind to bring Viseria, like, the whole... We're gonna make a fucking Tales of game, but it's darker. Yeah. Because I wish they so did that, but with a budget. Yeah. Really yeah, that'd be nice. I guess the stories about that place are true. I think I think the characters in that game are pretty yeah. good, the just because they are so actively oh, not no. the main normal main char Tales characters, and, like... Some of the recurring oh, villains in ta oh, in go. Berseria are like using demon fangs and shit. Happy. Yeah, and it's like, oh, see, because they're using the normal sword arts that the protagonist of a Tales game oh, normally oh, uses, and meanwhile, you're playing as this angry demon woman who <laughs> is justifiably yeah. mad really nice of you. after her brother-in-law slash mentor uh, blood sacrificed her younger brother so, to seal the demons away. We asked her the same thing earlier, but she doesn't know. I mean, who among us? She might have amnesia. Yeah. What? Anyway, this oh seems gosh, like anime terrible. horse shit. We were hoping she'd remember Wouldn't it be great if Gino popped in, in at this moment? Well, yeah, and he'd be like, I heard these games are like canned corn. They're just, just generic. Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest is shit. Dragon Quest is bad. Do anything is, different. Uh, listen, I, why don't, why doesn't every JRPG do just look like Final Yuji Fantasy? Hori? He didn't write anything good. It's like, yo, dog, Yuji Hori was like Maybe one of the lead writers to Chrono Grandpa. Trigger. People forget about that part. Yeah. It's like it was apparently Yuji Hori's idea. It's like, what if Chrono Trigger had multiple endings? And it's like, yo, dog, that's gonna be hard to what write for. It's like, don't worry, I got it. And he wrote like all of the different branching yep. endings. Like that was his contribution. Yep. Which that's a huge like one of the big appealing things about Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Chrono Tr 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 Trigger's good. This is yeah. This is one of those things where it's just like Chrono Trigger is. Remember how, like, Chrono Trigger's not long, and everybody's like, I don't like JRPGs because they're too long. It's like, Chrono Trigger's, like... Chrono Trigger's, like, 30 hours. 25 hours. Of, 25, 20, 30 hours. 20-ish hours. The people who say they, they, they're they completionists about Chrono Trigger are bad people. 
I mean, you can get all the endings in New Game Plus real fast. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Jatsu's pointing something out. When you figure out the truth about Laffy yep. and that Spirit Fire Girl, that's some messed up shit. It yep. sure is. Yep. No. There. It turns. It turns out like that game does not hold back its punches. Like, despite the fact that it is is still very much like. I, I, in my Game of the Year blog, I compared Velvet to Shadow the Hedgehog, and I feel like you were being mean. I feel like that that I still I still stand by that comparison as far as like she she lays it on a little thick, and hey, like kudos to Christina V, because I I for whatever reason I play these games in English, even though I'm normally a subs guy with anime a lot of the time. And she's just very good at just being like, No, I'm gonna fucking murder him! I'm gonna fucking murder these guys! And you're like, Yeah, that's right. And then Rokuro is just like, Yeah, I also enjoy murder. Except for my brother, who I really want to murder. It's, right. It's good. And then Aizen's just like, Eh, whatever. I'm a pirate. This is, this but is anyways, my, yeah. as we head into our uh, eventual Eternal Sonata podcast, yeah. Remember when Triace meant something? Remember when they made Valkyrie Profile? Yeah. And that Valkyrie Profile Two, which was a decent sequel. I, I remember I when like they gave a shit about the Star Ocean games. Yeah. Remember Radiata stories and all your friends that were trying to convince you that that was a good game? No. Why? See, apparently the... you weren't What's close so enough cool friends with the video game king. No. Does having a name make you happy? I see. I'm over here. Sorry. It doesn't feel And when I think of like that, games that it? weirdos on the internet have, have been pushing me to so play, I it's like you, feel. you should play really Radiant should Historia, and I'm like, yeah, I probably should. Um, oh wait, no. No one wrote about. What am I thinking about? You're thinking of Radiant Historia. I am thinking of Radiant Historia. Oh right. Oh boy. Ah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I made a goofy. What is Radiata stories? I have no idea. But Radiant Historia, what I played of it, seemed pretty good. Oh, we got the weird turtles. Mm. I mean, at some point... At some point, the video game will tell me where to go. It's fine. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, this was a game that, looking at uh, Radi Radiant History, this was a game that the uh, Nintendo Defense Force was super into. Okay, yeah. Welcome back, Master Asbel. Yeah, 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 this is starting to come together. Hey, Frederick. You ran off on me again, Sherry. And then the other thing that, I'm like, sorry, people are like, God. no, listen, man, Xenoblade Please Chronicles is the greatest I JRPG of the 2000s. Oh, don't worry about oh shut the fuck off. up. I'm sorry that I don't anyway, want to play something that is, wonder... by design, 80 hours plus long. Hours. I'm sorry. I played the first of those, and it's like, this sure feels like a fucking MMORPG. It's like, this sucks. The this, MMO this light stuff, like... It plays so slow, I... and the story's not all that interesting until you get to a certain point, and by then it's 30 mm. fucking hours mm. in. Grandpa, I, I appreciate how batshit, like, once again, Monolith yes, Soft... Yes, the story is absolute batshit, but even... Commitment to batshit. You feel like, if you, if on, you don't guys, thought let's... that Eternal Sonata is slow, he should you play... One of those Xenoblade Chronicles games. Well, you see, the second, like, Gino would be like, I, I don't, it's like Final Fantasy XII, I hate it. I, and you know what? Right. I'm not necessarily against him for saying that, because I think that Final Fantasy XII doesn't play good. And well, then, it doesn't play yeah. as smoothly and... Like, I, 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 I will say, go with should. God, peace be unto you. Uh, to anyone who is super stoked about 
Xenoblade 3. Cause I think the plot twist in the first one is stupid as fuck. I, I the premise, the idea that Xeno uh, Xenoblade Three is apparently going to like, in some way, be the sequel to both Cr Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles Two is like some, it's some real turn A Gundam shit. Right, and I want to see them figure and... it out. But yeah, also, go for it. I can't Get help fucking but, weird. But also, I, I just... can't help but think that this it's just going to be like a Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, like, answer the questionnaire at the start of the game if you didn't play them, and then we'll figure it out. Um, oh, right. There, there was a game that uh, someone mentioned, like, Every time someone mentions, like, a weird PS2 JRPG that I haven't heard of, I'm like, well, clearly I need to look into this. I need to look into this this high-quality... Um... Uh-huh. Th this high-quality video game here. Uh, I'm trying... Oh, Ephemeral Fantasia. Which got, like, four out... Yeah. See, look. Relkin knows what's up. Um. Ephemeral. God damn it. Cause Every when, single when time the... that Brayden wants to say something, Relkin has to say a different yeah. obscure JRPG that loses, causes you to lose your train of thought. No, I was. No, Ephemeral Fantasia was the one I was thinking of. Um. Because it's like when, when those kinds of games get. I'm going to make a controversial statement. Yes, what? But I'm going to say that uh, the game reviewers who were assigned to JRPGs... Especially the one-up people. Especially the one-up people. Well, listen, Shane Bettenhausen gave anything a 10. Jeremy Parrish. Yeah. Uh, but... I was when say when a that, when a game it, but... gets like four out of tens during that era, you know it good. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's pick some apples before we go. Let's pick some apples I... before we go. Yeah. I I wish that there was an there's an aspect of that one up staff and like the brand that they yes. It like that, I respect yeah. the brand that they courted. It's like we give five out of tens. That's the average. Like, okay. Okay, you shoot your shot. Hey, you but also, like, I think we're... We, the biggest problem Shut with up. today is, like, you even in the, the waypoint world that we live in, you there have you to go. cover everything in the most generalized way possible. Thank you very in 1UP, much. they were a publication that you had a brand... Things, that had yep. an identity, and they executed on that brand no matter to. what the fuck you gave okay. them. Now, boys, I heard they you were want... tough. They preferred Japanese-style games over Western-style yep. games, but they case, would still review the Western-style games. Wait, you're giving us a pre and oh, wow. I think that, that, I, it's a book this, that is, this is starting to get into, like, the existential. You find like, one, Broken Pixels and the, yeah. hey, the one-up show... Oh yeah. Like they were we don't talk about this on Giant Bomb, but like they were ahead of Giant yep, Bomb. They were ahead of the curve and in a lot of ways kind of predicted the rise of how people cover games in the YouTube yeah. era. But yeah. Fuck man, I remember when someone from IGN like that I talked to was like when we, I was like, Hey, I, I'm from Giant Bomb. It's like, yeah, I'm talked to someone from IGN and they basically said the minute when they were like the IGN show had an existential crisis was when the one up apples. show got its first apples. ad. Yeah, it's like shit, one. god don't damn it, they did it. They like, solved did it. the problem. I don't think so. Like we're no. putting in all of these one before. all of those shows even wow. on the spot were like you super really expensive to make. And yeah. and on the spot was also like Where very regimented, very must be pretty like far away. Like, the skits, like, yeah. I remember, like, talking to this IGN guy, and, uh, the belief was, is, like, we are gonna stick to the script, and here comes one up with, like, 
the way that Red Letter Media does their whole, like, we're gonna do skits and recurring storylines while reviewing stuff and shooting the shit about these games that we played, like, that was fucking one-up. Damn. Yeah, that... They had their own theme song. The one-up show. Yep. Hey, I don't want to go to work today. Radio show. Yep. Yeah. And it, it it's important. It's but also like here here's my follow up to that is I haven't listened to eight four play in like five years because I can't stand. I have a hard time whenever 8-4 plays. Like, I played the latest exclusive title for Xbox. Huh. Xbox, is there all the games are on PC? Halo, more like... Like, I get... And I get why. It's because, you know, they have a contract with Sony. Yeah. I mean, speaking speaking 8-4, 8-4 localized pretty much all of the Namco Bandai RPGs we just talked about, including this. Yeah. Like, they... And, and hey, you know, it ain't their fault that the writing in Tales of Graces F is notoriously l low standard, even by the series. Is there anything here? Yeah, but them spending an entire podcast talking about how much they love Xenoblade Chronicles... When they fucking worked on it, yep. it's like, that's when I was like, nope, 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 nope. If you're not willing to recognize this conflict of interest, no thank you. Nope, Or, nope, or nope, just nope. like, nope. why are you nope. trying to pretend you're still a traditional video game podcast? Like, why do you feel the need to cover news about Microsoft consoles? Yeah, when, just do your own thing. Whenever talk about, you like, talk about that stuff, it is just like just the talk most... talk about, like, the process of making these games and the creative decisions yeah. you had to make. Like, I would have fucking listened to them talk about, like, what they, I bet some they of that's went through to make Near Replicant yeah. version 1.22. Yep. And you're right, but also... <sighs> I did like the, the the episode that they did about Hades because, of course, Supergiant Games is like, yeah, talk about the game. And they're like, all of these, like, ah, we not only do we have to, like, translate Greek nomenclature, but we have to take the American interpretation of Greek nomenclature and then make it applicable to Japanese. And it's like, that was actually one of the best 8-4 podcasts that I had listened to. I just yeah. wish they did more of that. I just feel like, you know, I mean... I don't know. I God bless them. God bless them. It's a thankless job, vocalizing games. It, it's and as yeah. someone who just like recreationally helped with like copy editing, and I wasn't even good at that of a couple of fan translations. Like, it's a thankless, fucking underappreciated job. And uh, bless them all. I bl God bless them all. I uh, you know I. I think the yeah the gold standard for localization at this point is like the fucking trails. Alexander O. Smith. Yeah, it's it's fucking Vagrant Story, and it's like the Trails series. Yeah. But apparently, what wasn't the backstory with the Trails of series is that they undersold. They so they they, they put in a bid and it turns out ah fuck this is way more work than so we thought. So Trails in the Sky two took like four or five years to localize because um, because yeah they were basically underfunded like there were not that I, many translators one of them almost killed himself yeah. that's not a joke I I also need to point out and I, I know I don't want to steal your thunder yeah. Pepsi Man is streaming Idol Master yeah hell yeah Ah, oh, man, so I have to choose between watching you or watching Pepsi Man play Idol Master and muck about with anime singing girls. Anime it's singing really tough. girls. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay with you. Well, yeah. Anyways. I'm playing. I'm playing it, it's great because, you see, if I was playing this on my own, then I just it would just be a lot of me... A lot of dead air of me going, boy, this intro sure is taking a while. 
We come this way all yeah, the time that's the thing. You know what? That's what boats? Berseria and Arise got right, which is... Yo, intro port. levels in Tales of Games Bail don't need to suck shit and be world. boring. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what damned... Isn't isn't that what basically ended boats? your efforts to play hey, Zysteria that is that... The first two hours of Zysteria oh, were, were so boring that it led me to go, Jeff, please, please do not make me... One, two, hey, it's Recky. Hey, you can join the chat. It's right there. It's game yeah. night. You click it, and then you can speak. Forever hold your Close peace call. inside my ear hole. Oh, inside that's right. So hole. the whole the whole thing with this game is like you can grind out titles. Um, inside my ear hole. Yeah, the yeah the the great thing about uh. Versaria is that um, it gets through that intro in like a PE teacher. Not a real teacher. Who do you think you are? Yeah, anyways, I, 100%, right? Like it, Versaria's intro is like an hour. And then, and that's all you need. Like you spend like an hour killing boars in the forest, and then the blood sacrifice happens. To a merchant or a turtles, they can turn them into an apple gel. Wow, I didn't know that. I thought you just ate them. Oh, we're learning about the crafting system. I don't think they're good for you raw. I'm gonna try and publish. I, I don't know why, because every single time I do this, uh, it seems like a bad day. Um, I'm gonna try and get two blows out next week. So the uh, the Atlantis blog is totally done. Yeah. I just realized that there's not enough content to really warrant my normal deep introspective look on Loom. So instead of doing Drowned God, which Drowned God is just like. There's a lot to talk about with Drown God. It's not going to be an easy write-up. It's it's, it's just simply not going to be an easy write-up. It's going to be a lot. Like I said on stream, like I'm going to probably have to break up Atlantis into two parts. Which well, I knew yeah. I would, ha event I would eventually idea. have to do this. Um, um, pictures of the nachos, she, nachos that she made for her Super Bowl party. That's no. nice. I caught my 90-year-old grandmother watching anime. Uh-huh. What was she watching? And she was watching the sports anime that the Japanese government commissioned for the Paralympics. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. The, a wheelchair basketball yeah. anime. She seemed like she was happy with what she was watching. I don't know how I feel about that. I do think it's funny that, like, if the United States government would would ever try to, you know, at, at this point, fun to television show. Everyone would make fun of it. Uh, so that's instead... That's what PBS is. That's literally what PBS is. And the National Endowment for the Arts no, totally cause... spend money on animation and arts. What are you talking yeah, about? No, I'm talking about, like, direct... Sesame Street takes government money. I don't know how to break it to at you. At least she wasn't like watching Icky Tosin. Yeah. That's, a, that's a fucking reach. Then let's get dualized. It's where you make an item by combining these Later found out in life. Looks, really you've yeah. got an apple. That's right. Cool. They localized a southern a accent by putting Z's on it. Yeah. The Kansai accent's been localized with Z's. Oh, I gotta read. Yeah, also the U.S. military funds everything hey, with guns ever. Yes. 
You know, the high school I went to was uh, a part of a massive... Was You remember a while ago. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say the name of it, uh -huh. but... Um, that was easy. You've got talent for such one of the controversial things that happened to my high school was that the United States military came to our campus and had a game with a plastic gun in which you would shoot terrorists. Uh huh. With this animatronic, like, vibrating gun. It was reported on the news everywhere. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah. Let me see. I, I, you know what? I'm not going to link the news article that I found here because I don't want you guys to know where I live. I mean, I, I'm i pretty sure the... Uh... I don't, I'm trying Apparently to remember if the one army... Of the... I, I know the army, like, had the recruiter hanging out during lunch. Um, but I don't, I don't think we ever went that hard, unfortunately. I remember, like, one of my old friends that played basketball real good, like, from high school, like, is, like, playing in, like, the Israeli Basketball League. Okay. No idea if he went anywhere, but whatever. Hey, do you recognize this girl? Not in the slightest. Traveling the world playing basketball, chasing his dreams. I'll, listen, no, you know, has... I I got nothing. Hysteria, listen, the Jimmer for debts of the world. <laughs> yep. You made a reference that yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for making that reference. I don't know if it's because you've listened to us talk about basketball. I, so I, you felt comfortable to say that. Or if you actually knew that. In fact, don't spoil it. Yeah. I want that okay. To live with I'll, me. Yeah. I'll let I'll let you I'll let the mystery surround you uh, as to focus. why I know about Jim Fredette. Um, he's not uh, making it Here, making it try. money in China. Front flip, go. Oh, she did a front Holy flip. Front flip with a twist. Yeah. Uh. Now spin. Why would you do that to this? That was incredible! Wow. But yeah, I guess America's right army was around for a while, but. You know, now, now they, they now the the armored forces have, you know, they got better ways of reaching the kids, like streaming video games on Twitch, and then getting, and then having to go to emote only chat. So she's either from the circus or in a really, or something. I don't know, but those movements felt familiar, as if I. Hmm. Maybe the beast we should <sighs> Hey kids, have you considered it? the army streamed a Street Fighter V tournament? Sure. Of course they did. Liking jobs in the military to classes in multiplayer games and their ads? Yeah. Yeah, like that. I hey, hear man. that uh, Arma has finally shut down. The government's going to pull the funding for um, Arma, and so the know, game's going to die. You could try giving me commands too. I'm trying huh? to. No, Didn't I'm one of good. the devs for Let's Arma, oh, Seriously, like the, okay. the whatever Arma training sim was right. being made for the oh, U.S. government? Um, Abracadabra. Or like the actual game. Because I believe Arma's yeah. developers are European. Mm -hmm. Bohemian, uh, Bohemian America's Interactive. Army. What are you two doing? Come on, Hubert. Also, Let's I go. remember at hey, one point uh, a developer hey, of Bohemian Interactive. Oh, you're right. Arma's fine. It's America's Army. Yes, that's what I was. That's what we're talking about. Sorry. Yes, uh, America's Army is now going to yes. die because the government's not going to fund it anymore. Yeah, because May fifth, twenty twenty two. Which I would say, just play Arma then. Yeah. No, Arma. If you want your weird milsim. 
play Arma. Uh, you know, the the lead developer, one of the developers who worked for Bohemia Interactive got arrested on the island of Cyprus because they were accused of spying. But, yeah. I don't know. I... I don't want to get arrested for spying. Got some rice. I fight for justice. Tornado blade, try this one. No, take that. You get it. Tornado blade, take this. You got your one too. Try this one. Take this. Take that. Yeah, chain three arts, HP plus ten percent. Are you all excited for the Superior Plate Half Period Show? Is that happening right now? Like you could genuinely tell me Who, who's playing at the, the 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 big game trademark uh, halftime show this year. It's Eminem with a, an assortment of other hip hop artists. A Eminem, huh? <laughs> Okay. Sure. Snoop, Dr. Dre, Eminem. Okay. Sure. Kendrick Lamar, yeah, this all this all checks out. Blah blah blah. I feel like the thing with Super Bowl halftime, I mean, the big game halftime shows is, um, they're usually pretty tame after what happened with JT and Janet Jackson. I remember had... seeing that live. I remember seeing titties on national television. I remember thinking I saw titties, but like, wait, no, I did not. That did not happen. And then also, yeah, like yeah. Janet Jackson got a bunch of shit, but Justin Timberlake was allowed to have a life. Yeah. Apparently he's and it was a creep. his fucking fault. Apparently apparently Justin Timberlake's a creep, so yeah. <sighs> Surprise. Who do you think is going to win the sports game? Uh, the one that has the highest score. Better team with the higher score will win the ball from game. Ah, you mean American. Take that! Put your bets in now. They went too far and made it boring, so now they're trying to be edgy again. Was it... Was it Maroon 5? Was it... I remember they had the weekend, and weekends was, like, basically... I'll show you just, what I got. Like, fucking... Him fucking around and then eventually singing a song. Doing we weird, bizarre visuals. Over already? Hey, dude, the one that Prince did is still widely regarded as one of the best Super Bowl halftime shows. For I bet. Least. Prince is a musician. Okay, it's 13 Apparently, like, the LA reason leading. why okay. a lot of people think that 
that was a good performance is because Prince is like, I'm going to do a concert as if it's an outdoor concert, and if it's not cinematic, I don't care. Remember and then when also Lady it turns Gaga out that had that's all those exactly, drones? Yeah, and it turns out that that's exactly how you should do it, which is perform for the people that are in the field, not for the people on television, because it doesn't matter. As long as the music is good, people don't give a shit. Have there Remember been any funny talked... ads? Yeah. Have Remember people been like, when oh, everyone Doritos? Would talk nothing but shit about, uh, what was it, the uh, Black Eyed Peas performance? Yeah. Yeah. Just the sound mixing that apparently was bad. Yeah. I remember. I remember hearing that. Hey, remember when Boom Boom Pow and I Got a Feeling were really hot songs? Blasting. While you were in school, whether it was high school, middle school, or college, see, when I so when I was in high school, uh, I, I did not have a driver's license until uh, I turned eighteen, just because it scared me. Um, so I would drive around with my friend and his truck. Yeah, there's some sort of Austin Powers related ad in the show today. I don't know. Sure. Um, and as a result, I have. All of the lyrics for fucking Viva La Vida in my brain forever, because he liked Coldplay at the time. Did someone join us? I did. Hello. Hello. We're talking about our least and most favorite Super Bowl halftime shows to be on brand. Yeah. Uh, and I, this caused me, I am now re-watching oh, the Black Eyed Peas yeah. performance of the Super Bowl halftime show. Oh, right. Hi, that was the thing. What is this? This looks like... This is Tales of Graces. You challenged us to play a generic, bad, B-tier JRPG, and we're... He is now playing a generic... I'm, I'm playing... Yeah, I'm playing the one with the good combat, but the notably bad, even by the standards of Tales, story. Hey, G Gino, as someone who has some language skills of uh, the Japanese, uh, would you want to translate a concept... I wouldn't call it the Japanese. Ugh, not this again. Make that joke. Nihongo. Uh, would you Damn translate you, a guess. Kansai accent with Z's replacing all of the S's? No. I think no, no. that's what this game decided to do. <laughs> I don't remember if the turtles have the Kansai accent or not. Well, we saw one guy who had a clearly southern accent with Z's instead it, of S's. It, they're no salsa, that's for sure. Hey, Sharia? Can you keep... yeah, I mean, huh? oh, you just want to make it a sun. loud regional oh, dialect. It can be, you must be southern accent. It can be the Japanese accent. Use kids over here. Oh wait, was it supposed to be a, a New Yorker accent? With the Z's instead of the S's? Use the eight-year-olds, the main party. Uh, yeah. So the first couple hours of this game, it's you're a bunch of dumb kids. Yeah, the, this game starts with you understanding your characters, what they were like as okay. children before they are See. adults. Come along, See that the doctor from Eternal Sonata is here. Yeah. Yeah, anime <laughs> doctor. At least these characters yeah. animate better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's coughing. Yeah. And she her name is Frederic. Maybe they should have just called her Frederick. Hey, it's Friedrich Chopin right there. Yeah. Yes. They want to come? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a bad brain. That's what I heard too. So, question. Yes. What? When I when I get the baton, should I play yeah. more Eternal Sonata? Should I counter program the Super Bowl with Blitzball? Yes. Who is that? Yes. Super Bowl is happening Sherry's right now. It is. You know, moms Anyone, and has, does everyone want to see the big game? The big Blitzball. game. I'm sure you have one. Blitzball. Are you just going to are you going to are you going to play Blitzball or are you going to do everybody favor everybody's course, favorite cheese family. tactic which is score once and yours? then hang around behind the net. Yeah, they... Just do the check What's shot wrong? and then hide behind the goal. I think the real answer is get brother. Think of me. Yeah, exactly. We have to see these kids as kids otherwise we won't understand them as adults. I wasn't asking you. 
uh, you get brother and he's faster than everyone else and so you just go Where in circles they? until the other characters uh, lose pace with you and then it's just ISO versus the goalie uh -huh. wow what a interesting well designed mini game oh he's the only character fast enough to do it uh -huh. just breaks the game because so much faster than everyone else they all oh, what, 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 I, I only played the first mission and then was like I don't want to play Blitzball ever again um what do you get out of playing Blitzball in 10? For items actually that you can items? get? You get items, you get Waka's ultimate stuff. weapon. Um, mm -hmm. You get some good spears. Uh, that's also how you get Waka's limit you. breaks. But mostly Waka-related things, which is why most oh, people don't go back to it. Uh, favorite character, the yeah. racist fucking soccer player. I love religious zealots. He gets over it when well, he realizes his religion's a sham. Later. It's like, yeah, need to speak with you. yeah, it's bad, you know, brah, brah. brah. Can't believe uh, there's received a letter from a very important man. That says Eternal Sonata. His son is coming to visit Long. Okay. Yeah, it seems like oh, chat would prefer Cal, huh? more dying composers. That's rare, isn't it? Sir? All right, I can. Uh, let's see. I've been going for almost two hours. I can. I yeah, can tag out. Tag this boy All right, I will, I will get Eternal Sonata up and running. But, you are not to but I wanted the Blitz Ball. He hails from one of the most I, you know, I'll teach you how to Blitz. I'll teach you how to Blitz to sometime later. If okay. something were to happen, it would be a I do enjoy on. having to Why scout talent, me? though. Do you understand? Yes. To fly around Good. negotiating contracts. I'm confident. To get a good blitz ball team. Gotta worry about what? your cap space. But your cap space is how much money you have. I want to be with Asba. You do? I should have what cap space. A luxury oh tax. I don't know, but... Let's ball Aka is actually great on the luxury tax. He only charges sort of you 10 trouble? gil per game. Of yeah. She isn't. Um, dirt. Right? He is dirt cheap. Well, yeah, he's doing it for the love of the game. Well, she cannot stay yeah. here. And he's like, I retired Don't forever. Worry. And you're like, what? no, you didn't. I can take care of this. this is I'll give you 10 bucks. And he's like, fine. This is foolishness, son. Do you even understand Any, listen, any saying? video game with you're father, it's an anime child. game with fathers. You, you got to overcome it. You know you what what is a father in a JRPG if not something to be overcome? This purple haired girl, the a sister of. No. Guest from the capital. She's a mysterious waif who they found in a flower field with amnesia. Damn it. Okay. Come you know, on, as one does. She's got amnesia. Good to know. Says. So she's the Let's protagonist go. then? Okay. She's the durotagonist, yeah. I'm just checking to make sure Eternal Sonata does not have audio issues before I start it. Recky, thank you for the using restart. the emotes. OBS. Thank you for using the the nogger. I think it's like poggers, but it's the naga from Against the Cult of the Reptile God. And, you know, maybe at some point I'll pay someone to actually draw real emotes. But until then, uh, Gino, let me know when you're going to start up your stream. And I can... I'm starting it. It sounds like uh, the audio is good. All right, fantastic. I'm gonna grab then one I, I'm gonna raid Gino. I'm gonna say peace out. I'm gonna watch Pepsi Man play Idol Master. I'm gonna I'll I'm gonna around. get dinner because I'm hungry. I'll stick around. I'll stick around. All right. Grabbing water real fast, but the uh, the stream is on. Raid that shit. Raiding. Super Deep Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Super Deep Sunday. Sports ball. Balls for sports. 